good day YouTube and welcome into another Tits Beer Bomb 420 Beer Review. Um, today we're reviewing a spring seasonal beer that when I had it last year, it was a different percentage, so there's a difference to it this year. Um, last year it was 7%, this year it's 7.8%, um, apparently under brewery's website it says 7.2 and says how it's a 30 bittering unit number thing so it may or may not be 30 ibus but this year the beer is 7.8 percent it's the first uh, spring se uh, it's the first seasonal beer that this brewery puts out the other seasonal stuff comes after i had to get it out the bag and then we'll get into it. Uh, okay. Excuse me. So it's a spring season, folks. Dun, 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 dun. Amsterdam Breweries Springbok. Last year was 7. This year it's 7.8%. <coughs> These are those full-bodied beers that you could literally live off of because of the food energy in it. And monks, when they're fasting for like 40 days, they're allowed to drink this. So it's a Doppelbock. Last year when I had it, I was getting lots of chocolate and caramel out of it. And spices that I thought were reminiscent of like a chai tea. So they upped it 0.8% this year at 78 Amsterdam Springbok from Toronto, Ontario. Cheers, folks. Oh, it's got green foil on it. Same cap as last year and like what they use. It's the cap that they like to use for their bottle of beers. Yeah, it smells strong, bitter, chocolate and caramel, and just like strong and bitter and roasty and dark, it just smells. Well, now we pour it. Cheers, folks. Mm, one sec. No. No. Cheers. Um, yeah. <clears throat> 500 milliliters, 7.8% Amsterdam. Dip double block, spring block. Rock out with your block out. So, from what I see here, folks, and from what you see, so that's a two finger head. It's got some big bubbles in it, so at some point it should be going away, but it stays for a little bit. Um, a little sweet. Maybe a little cherry or something. This is the 2013 version, 2013. Some, still, like you get, you know what, you get faint caramel, very faint chocolate, and spices from the glass. So a different smell from bottle versus glass. Fresh local original. I'll just, let you uh, look at the bottle and I'll take a sip. <clears throat> Cheers. Happy spring. I could be wrong since it's been a bit over a year because I had the, it last year in March. So it's April as I'm having it. Um, I'm going to say it tastes more boozy this year. 
this double box kind of on that like cherry side for some of those dark beers that get like a cherry side or something to them um I don't really taste chocolate or caramel at the moment um I got cherry um is whatever flavors next is light and smooth almost maybe like a vanilla -y, caramel -y. and um as you see the heads going away I pick up on the booze a bit in the taste I guess it's kind of heavy it's heavy body you can taste some spice in the background and you will get some caramel and chocolate more caramel um yeah there's the cherry again um I'm not gonna call this super amazing I'm not gonna call it bad 7.8 version is boozy tasting a bit and because it's 7.8 and doesn't taste bad doesn't taste kick ass but I'm fine with it and stuff I give it like a 6.8 maybe a 7 maybe it needs a little less than that but that's what I'm going with uh, this is the 2013 version of Amsterdam's uh, Springbok which is up 0.8% this year at 7.8 <laughs> 